Hello everyone, let's look at spiral matrix. The problem statement is we are given an m multiply n matrix. We want to return all elements of the matrix in spiral order. The example here is that if the input matrix is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then the output should be 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 8, 7, 4, 5. For this problem, we can simulate drawing the spiral path. And then the direction we will follow is always move right, move down, move left, and move up. And we do it again. While we move the position, we also need to update the boundary variable for these directions. Let's dive into the code. First, let's have our result array. In the end, we just return it. And then, let's claim our boundary variables. We have left, top, right, bottom, four boundary variables. Left and top, that's easy because that's from the top left. And right and bottom, the right is the first element for the matrix, the length minus one. And the bottom is this one. That's the matrix dot length minus one. In addition, we also need a direction variable. Its initial value is right. When we loop through, the direction always clockwise. That's right, down, left, up. Let's start our loop. So as long as left less than right, top less than down, we keep loop through and push the data into our result if direction is right. We have an inner loop. And then we push the value into result. The value is top i. Top remain the same, and i is our index here. After the for loop, we move up the we move down the top. Sorry. Change the direction to down. And then, if the direction is down, let's copy the inner loop. So this one become top, this one is bottom, and this is i, this is right, because we are pushing these values into the array. This becomes right minus 1, and then direction will become left. If the direction is left, let's copy the whole thing. This is left, and this will become right. This is left, because we are moving reversely. I minus 1. This is bottom. This is our I. And after this, we have this bottom minus 1. And then the direction will be up.
if direction direction is up. Let's copy this again. This will become bottom. This is I. This is left. Left plus one and direction will become right again. And then it move back up to this move right and then down left up. Here you might also notice there's a small problem in our solution. This ray cannot just be if, it has to be else if. Because in this while loop, every time we only want to loop one side and then we do the check and then we keep another direction moving and then we do it again. Let's submit. It passed. Let's look at the complexity here. For, for space, it's all of m multiply n. This is because this is the size of our result array. For time, it is also because this is how we loop through the input array. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please leave a comment below.